Breast augmentation is the most common cosmetic surgery performed on women around the world. This surgery is done for three reasons. To increase breast size, to mold and restore the bust that has lost its shape, or to give symmetry to breasts that have a different shape or size from each other. To perform this surgery, breast implants are placed inside the chest, which can be round or teardrop shaped. The teardrop shape offers a more natural look, but over time, it tends to lose its shape and look droopy. For this reason, the most used implant is the round one, since it maintains its shape for longer. To choose the implant, you will meet with your surgeon to discuss the right fit for you. There are three techniques to perform this surgery. In one of them, the surgeon makes the cut to place the implant around the nipple areola. In another, the cut is made in the armpit area. And in the third, it is made in the inframammary area, that is, below each of the breasts. This last technique is the most used, and we will explain it to you below. This is breast augmentation surgery. The day of the operation, before entering the operation room, the surgeon will draw marks on your body that will help him know exactly where to make the incision and where to place the implant. This is called marking. Once in the operating room, the doctor will apply anesthesia to the lower back. This injection is better known as an epidural and will make the patient feel no pain during the procedure. Afterwards, following the previously made marks, the surgeon will make an incision 3 to 4 centimeters long below the natural fold of the breast. Then the surgeon will use an electrocautery device, which is a medical instrument that applies heat and helps separate tissues to prevent bleeding. With the electrocautery device, the surgeon will separate the fat from the muscle to create a pocket-like space where the implant will be placed. This technique is known as subglandular. Once the implant is inside, the surgeon will use his hands to place the implant in the correct position. The incision is then closed with sutures. To finish the surgery, the specialist performs the same procedure on the other breast. This surgery lasts between 45 minutes and one hour. For the next four weeks, the patient follows these steps. Do not raise your arms above your shoulders. Do not carry pull or push heavy objects, wear a special bra, attend weekly checkups, keep the wound clean,